All right, so now we're gonna go on to round 21 and we're going to use a little bit of black in this round. So you just need like a tiny bit of black. Just knit per the chart for chart A and then add your black color in. I leave a long tail because I'm going to use this piece of black to weave an eyeball and to finish out the mouth afterwards. So I just tuck it in for right now. So this is the round before we take off the uh, thumb gussets. So we're going to knit the very last row on the thumb chart. And then just knit according to chart B. All right, so now we're going on to round 22. And this is the round you're going to take the thumb stitches off. So what I do is before I start knitting that round, I just put my thumb stitches on a scrap piece of yarn. And then I just tie a knot to make sure that the stitches don't escape. So now we are done with the thumb chart completely. We're just going to finish up knitting chart A and chart B. And let me show you round 22. Okay, so we just finished chart A and we're just going to move this out of the way. Cinch these close together so there's no gap there anymore. And continue with chart B. And I always pull on it to make sure it's really tight right there. So now you should have this little thumb piece out here and all of your main stitches. Continue knitting all of the chart up until round 33. All right, so now that we have finished the color work portion of it, we are going to remove our contrast color. So I just cut it off and tuck it in. And then we're going to do a decrease round. So for decrease round one, we are going to knit six and then knit two together all the way around. And then knit two together. Just repeat that all the way around till you get back to the beginning. All right, in our second decrease round, we're going to knit two together and then knit five. I'm going to do this using the knit two, purl two. I'm going to modify this to make it the knit two, purl two. So I'm gonna knit two together, knit one, two, three, four, five, to make it the knit two, purl two. Purl two together, purl one, two, three, four, five, Knit two together, knit one, purl one, two, knit two. I'm going to repeat this way around so that way it starts off the purl knit section. So that it meets up right to the edge of where the color work portion ends. You can just follow the instructions if that doesn't make sense to you. It'll just leave a little bit of a gap. Like, see how there's a gap right here? But this one, I worked it in, in stitch stitch, so it meets up pretty close to the edge. 
All right, guys, now we're just going to knit two, purl two, until the work measures one inch. You can go a little bit further. It just depends on how far you want the glove to come up your hand. All right, so once your top is done, you're just going to bind off. I did it in stitch stitch. So I did knit two, purl two, as I had bound off just the regular way. Now I'm going to weave in these ends before I do the thumb, just so there's less stuff around. For these ones, since there's so many of them, since I added it every row, I'm just going to tie knots and cut it. So the two that are really close together, I'm just going to tie a little knot. And I'm not going to pull it tight because I don't want to mess up anything. Just cut it. So to start the thumb, we're still using the 2.75 millimeter needles. Um, I have these short ones that I use for thumbs, but you can just use your same long ones. You're going to remove. And then I'm going to divide the stitches up. Now with the third needle, you're going to pick up six stitches along the back. Now I start knitting right here in this junction. And I'm just going to be using the main color of yarn. And the first thing I'm going to do is knit one row. So just knit one row all the way around. All right, and now I'm going to knit one, purl one all the way around for four rows.